Good afternoon. Um, this is to show how to boot um, from the hard drive um, on any computer and also gives you the options um, to either permanently boot from the hard drive or whenever you plug in, you will be able to load the gaming operating system um, on, on your laptop or on your personal computer. So we've got a hard drive that's currently connected to a small PC. Um, so in your case, it could be a PC or a laptop. Um, and obviously the first time you start, it might um, not work. So you, we'll, we'll go through the whole process together, how you configure your BIOS um, and how that would work. So here we've got a Dell machine. So it's trying to boot up. And obviously um, we haven't configured the um, system for it to boot from the, from the USB hard drive. So here it says SATA or SATA hard drive, which we've we've connected to the USB cable. But even if I go and select that and press enter, uh, not necessarily that it would work. As you can see, it comes back to the boot menu and it's saying, please, um, you know, configure or select the proper hard drive that it would work. So let's just go and press the tab key. Um, but if you don't want to have, if you don't get this option, which is the fast uh, boot option normally, if you press the F12, um, you get this option or if you don't get this option don't matter we'll, we'll start the um, laptop or computer again and on a Dell you normally press the Dell key um, on a different obviously different um, uh, pro, uh, you know manufacturer will have a different key so some will have F12 key some will have F2 key F1 key escape key and uh, and so on so best thing to do is go to Google put the make and model of your laptop or computer and find out what key to press in order to boot from a hard drive or a USB um, a flash drive. Okay, so obviously this one has got a BIOS password. Um, let me put the password in. Only if I could remember the password. Okay, so we've gone into the BIOS and you will see quite a lot of options here. So just not going to go through all of it in detail. So you've got advanced, you've got power management, you've got secure boot, uh, security, sorry, and you've got boot option. And then obviously you can go out of the, the system. So the first thing we need to do is the operating system is designed to work on UEFE and um, um, legacy uh, boot option. So on here you can see First thing we need to enable uh, boot from USB just in case if that's disabled just enable it and if you've got a boot mode um, and if you can change it please make sure that you change this to both and just leave it as don't save it yet because we need to go and change the boot priority so now we'll go to boot priority and here you will see that USB um, what you want call a hard drive is selected as the third option and the internal hard drive is selected as the second option and then obviously the LAN is selected as the first option. So what we need to do is we need to move this as a first priority. So just move it. Obviously, different um, computers will have different way to move that up. So on these ones, you just press the uh, plus or minus key and that would move whatever option you've selected up or down. So let's just move the uh, LAN one down. So I'm just going to press the minus key that will go down. And we can leave the internal hard drive as the third option. We leave the other one also up. And if you have an external USB, obviously you can do that as well. So all you then have to do is press F10 or whatever key that is. And you just save the configuration and just wait for this to boot now. There you go. Again, guys, if you have any questions, anything at all, just drop me a message. Um, more than happy to help. And obviously, you can go and get in touch with uh, with us on our website at retrogaming.ltd. Um, yeah, speak to you all soon. Ciao.